Hello. Actually, um, for the YouTube viewers, for Liz specifically, I'm making her sister watch me stream right now. She's not on yet. I'm gonna wait till she's on and is talking in the chat with my account. And I'll explain to her what's going on. Um, I just had pretty much, for everyone, I just had pretty much the most embarrassing moment of my life. I'm not gonna explain it, but I did. And I'm very much awake now. And I, yeah, I'm gonna explain what has happened thus far to a friend and then I'm just gonna continue because <laughs> it's been that kind of night. <laughs> wait. Um, so actually, this kind of works out, because I'm supposed to stream Night in the Woods today. Today is in the 5th? Right now, I actually don't feel like it is the 5th, because I don't say it's the next day until it's light outside, but... Um, I was supposed to stream to this today, but I was actually going to finish Oxen Free today, so now I can do both, because I'll wake up then... Ow, what did I do to my hand? It hurts. Um, that didn't have to do with the moment, I promise. Work. Whoa, is that a real viewer? I love how it's like, it shows my proper title, but it says that I'm playing Brave still. Yikes. Um, fork. My phone is now missing most of the glass and it feels very weird. I don't even know why I typed that message out to you and you can hear what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> why did I do that? Also, hello to the other viewer that isn't Sam or me, or the bot that likes to watch me. Um, unless it's another bot, then whatever. Um, since you can hear the stream, I guess I'll just start explaining. This is Night in the Woods. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I've played it so many times. This time I'm doing a run through where I hang out with a certain friend. Because the last one I did, I did a run through where I hung out with a different friend. And, um, okay, let's start this. Um, main character, her name is May. She's a cat. Um, she's totally, probably bipolar and some other things. Definitely not straight. So, like, right, basically, she's me, okay? Pretty much. So I like to use my voice to narrate her. Um, there she do a slip. It's very cute. Um, and, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. May just dropped out of college. And now she's back home with her parents, and she's trying to reconnect with her friends. Greg, fox guy, super cute, very gay. Angus, super cute, very gay, dating the fox guy. And, um, B, crocodile girl, 
not as gay as you would think. Hmm. Um. It should ask you to log in. I don't know why it wouldn't. Let me pull it up on my phone real quick. Um. The, the, that their twitchy thing. Let's see. I don't mind. I mean, it's not like anyone else is watching, but like you and me, honestly. Um, Twitch. Dot TV slash me, pretty much. Also, I like the sleepy music, so it's fine. Um. It doesn't. Um. Here. Um. Instead, just let me see if this will work real quick before I tell you to do it because I can just look myself. Let's see. I've never had to tell anyone how to do this, but it's fine. Um. If you, um, since you're using mobile version, probably, it should have the little three dots at the top corner. Click that, and click switch to desktop mode. And, um, once it switches to that, it should, um, tell you to log in. Like, it should give you a button to log in if you want. So, see if that works, because it's what it's given me. It should work, theoretically, I hope so. If it doesn't, you know, you can text me and let me know. Um, so yeah, May is college dropout, hanging out with her friends, journaling random pictures, trying to solve her life problems, playing some bass. And that's about all that we know right now um, in this playthrough. I'm not going to spoil stuff for you. Um, even though I've played this like seven times, um, and, uh, then she plays bass guitar, as you can see over there on the side, and she's pretty cool. That's pretty much, I think, as far as we've gotten right now, her computer was messed up and it got fixed. And today, she's gonna ask B if B will drive her and the other friends to a party, and this is one of my favorite scenes, because... I get to narrate Drunk May, because she'll be at a party, and it's one of the most fun things for me to do. I actually have to narrate, because, um, you'll see. She has nightmare eyes. Um, because, like, when it shows the text, it'll show the text, but I like to narrate it anyway. Like, this is Greg. Like, this is his computer thing. Um, do I need to slow down? <laughs> Do I need to wait for you to log in first? I don't want to start going and you not get to do stuff because I want this game's pretty fun. So. But actually, it'd be really cool if you get to watch it. Because Liz loves it, I'll tell you now. Your sister loves this, this game so much. And... So, like... I know you guys have different tastes in things, but I feel like you'd also really like this. Okay, good. I said, did you understand my instructions? And I feel like that sounds really condescending. It's not. I just didn't know how else to say that. Hmm. No 
charger stay in my phone? That's weird. Okay. This is Sharkle! <laughs> this is his only purpose, but he adorable. <laughs> well, there's also like a scene, but other than that... <laughs> Okay, yay, you're watching, good, so I don't have to keep texting you because my phone's dying. Alright, so did you get my explanation of the game? There'll probably be a little delay between me seeing your messages, and or me talking and seeing your messages. <laughs> I'll wait for this first one at least, and then I'll start babbling on. Charcoal on my own computer. So that's cool. I'm I'm gonna start going now. Okay. If I have to explain again later, it's cool. And you can ask me questions. I'll I'll probably answer unless it's like a spoiler or something. So this is Greg, and I have a voice for every character, so you're gonna totally laugh at me for this. But, uh, May's character is obviously, I'm using my own voice because May is basically me. But, uh, all yellow text is Greg, all blue text for the most part is B, and all orange text for the most part, I think, maybe all of it, is, um, Angus. And... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hate that people I know watch this because I narrate and it's awful. This is me trying to be Tatum. Okay. Oh god, it's hard to do my Greg voice. I like want to cry because it's so intense. Oh, by the way, B works with the old pickaxe, so you can go there. Get some tools, lol. Big axe and go on a rampage, lol. Oh god. Also, this is a little game that happens in the game. Like, you can play a mini game in the game. And every time I play it, I, like, scream the theme song. But I'm not going to do that right now. Because um, I'm on a hard level, so I don't want to play it. <laughs> but I'll explain my tradition. I can play bass guitar. But I'm not going to. Some characters I don't have a solid accent for, like May's mom. I just kind of go with it. But every time I see May's mom, I think of your mom, so just so you know. Home again, where the people know my name and my mom's name and my dad's name, and about the time I put that kid in the hospital. It doesn't explain that for a really long time, by the way. Hey, bird, I'm home! It was pretty great when Granddad gave me that apple crate of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up out here. Death comes to Wigglesbury, the fancy corpse, Helmol Stevenson, Necropus the first, Lady Shark, the stone on Gallows Hill. Mom has all of her grisly books about creepy crimes and sad children on a creepy sad shelf in their room. <laughs> I am the great value Tatum. <laughs> Oh, looks like one of Mom's books made it out here. And we even ate the horses. One family's horrifying farm life in the 1800s, 1880s. Jeez, Mom. Hey, look, some of Dad's books got in here. Finches of North America. World of Titmice. <laughs> that exists. The Complete Grackle, a three-volume set. Owls are owlsome. Treacherous cranes. The hell is a grackle? I think this has one of my favorite um, dialogues in it too. Either that or I missed it and I'm sad. Morning, Mom. All day, Mom. Every day, Mom. What are you up to today? 
Greg and Angus and B are going to a party, so I might go out with them. A party, huh? Look at you! Back two days and already the social butterfly. Yeah, I'm in pretty high demand. A little nervous. I go through both of the options and pick one. Every time. Are you keeping in touch of are you keeping in touch with any of your friends from college? I didn't really make any friends. Not even your roommate? Not the nice girl you met at orientation? Not really. Okay, well, you go out there and have a nice time, honey. I will see you later. But there's more. Oh, there's not more. I want the eels dialogue! She does a cute face when she jumps. Yeah, if there's anything you have questions about, just, um, tell me and I'll explain. Can I go this way? Is it clear? No. There's always construction in the fall. It's so festive. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the power lines. Oh crap, I missed. Yeah, it's easier to just uh, travel the power lines. There's not really anything going on down in the street, at least for that part. This part I would like to um, be down for. So what are you up to these days? Um, crashing here until I get back in my own place. Parents rented out half the place to Mr. Chazikov. I've been babysitting, interviewed at Ham Panther, waiting to hear back. Ooh, my dad works at Ham Panther now. They got everything. Oh, no poetry. Oh god, them. I can legally shoot you for being up here, you know. Haha, <laughs> you'd never. I used to babysit your cat. Eh. So we gotta do whatever we can do to get the market to notice us. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Yeah, so we all allocate funds to preserve the statue of... Gary, you're not hearing me. Don't tell me I'm not hearing you, Andrew. It's not of sufficient historical note. Your ass is not of sufficient historical note. Guys, guys, stop this. This is the stoplight fight all over again. Oh yeah, and remember who won that one? Can we move on? Fine. Fine. They come up every now and then. They aren't really that important, but I think their conversations are kind of funny. Squirrel. Oh yeah, I can get a back up on the power lines from here. Nice. Because I don't want to go all the way down the hill and back to my house again. At least I think I can. I might not can. I might have just lied to myself. Sad. That's fine. We gotta go back now. Because I gotta find some stars with Maya's old astro astronomy teacher, uh, Mr. Chazikov pretty cool part actually. And I get to do a Russian now, that's nice. The squirrels! I'm going to chase you, squirrel! <laughs> yeah, this is what I do every day except for Sunday is for about an hour or two. And no one else watches, but I post them to YouTube as well. So, oh, it's not even up there? I got back up here for nothing. Um, I also post them to YouTube as well, but the only person who watches my YouTube channel legit is your sister, so. I'm pretty sure no one else has ever watched my channel before. <laughs> but she won't watch it while I'm actually streaming because she thinks your mom would be weird about it. She probably would, but whatever. It's fine. So that's why I even have a YouTube channel, actually. It's just so she can watch stuff that I do. Because, um... Jack Septiguy, the YouTuber that we both like, played this, but he didn't do everything, and I have done everything. Almost. Okay, well that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? Ball of yarn, because she's a cat. Um, but he didn't do everything, and a few games that we've watched him play, he didn't do everything, so I'm doing everything, and I'm like, you can watch me do this. What you doing up there? Streetlight got tore off in that big storm a few days back. Don't help that idiots keep jumping on it. That's a shame. Spread the word to the other kids. Adults? Oh, I don't think so. Adults got jobs and better things to do anyway. 
Ah. Anyway, you just tell the other kids to lay off. Gonna get themselves or somebody else killed. You know when they're fixing the steps? I desperately need to get to church. Tomorrow, I think. The vampires can't go on sacred ground. I ain't seen no vampires around here. Except maybe the government sucking us dry. You've taken over my vampire story. I'm leaving. Watch out for them bloodsuckers, kid. Adults! Um, we're gonna circle back around to B anyway. So we're gonna go down here. This kind of is like a little way across town. It's under the- under here, and it's- it's pretty cool. Delicious pretzels. Oh uh, yes, teenagers. Hey teens! Hey. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Cool! Hey kids! Hey adult. Well, I was your age only a few years ago. Uh huh. Well, see you later. Can't relate anymore. Talk about sports. Smelters, smelters, coming for you! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It sounds like how I talk to my dog. Can I go this way? It doesn't let me for a while, which makes me sad. Ugh, not hiking out to the edge of town today. Got stuff to do. Yep, can't do that. It's okay, because now we get to talk to Greg! Party, party, party! Jeez, dude, you are excited about this party. You're gonna be there! That's awesome! God, what a great week it's been! You're home! I'm home! My arms are tired! Oh, okay. I can't talk to him anymore. He works in the Snack Falcon. Or as most people would like to call it, the Snail Kit. He's Lord of the Snailkins. Oh look, a Navy recruiter! I'm gonna skip this conversation, actually. It's a long one. This is Angus. This is Greg's boyfriend. Hey, May. How's the laptop running? Really good. Thanks so much. Glad to be of service. The like. Yeah. Who rents movies anymore? How is the store still open? There's a certain romance to VHS and DVD that simply cannot be matched. Really? Nope. Wait, you actually have VHS? Mostly the adult section back behind the curtain. Whoa, really? Yeah, some folks are like really into seeking them out. It's like a whole little scene that goes back back before the internet. We had a historian in there last month looking for some obscure video. How do you get that job? I think that's the kind of job you can only have if you don't need to have a job. So this party tonight, huh? Yeah, it should be fun. I pegged you as a party person. I'm not really, but parties with Greg are different. How so? You know how you want to just go stand in a corner sometimes? Yeah. Greg's my corner. Aww. Haha, <laughs> shut up. See you later. For sure. Greg and Angus are the cutest couple though. They really are. They're so cute. See, I actually used the Greg's My Corner line um, as my title for my last video, even though I knew that it wouldn't be till this one. Because I was like, ooh, happy pride, because it's pride month. And now we talk to B. Yeah, let's get this party started. 
Yeah, Bill, write it up as on the clock. She's not gonna like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault, plain and simple. That is time extra. We charge for that. Alright then. Yeah, B's like really good. Hey, B. I feel like you would be B if you were anyone in this game. Because I feel like Mei definitely has a crush on B, but B is totally a straight girl. And also likes black a lot. And a few other things that I feel like you guys could just relate on. What was that all about? Ugh, don't even ask. Miss Miranda has locked one of our guys in her basement twice. Why? Because she's old and she forgets. Maybe if she gets a bill for it, she'll remember next time. Huh. What do you want? Well, Greg asked me to ask you if you would drive us to the party tonight. You know, the one up in the state park. Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused as to which of the dozens of parties going down on any given night in Possum Springs you were referring to. Are you being sarcastic? I'll drive. <laughs> she is your spirit animal. Because <laughs> she's literally an animal. Great, thanks. We'll be by your house at 8.30. Be ready or we'll go without you. Okay. Don't get lost on your way home. I know where I live. No, seriously. Go home and get ready. Alright, alright, jeez. Journal. Beatrice Santillo. Oh, that even says the ship name at the bottom. That's a song. Greg rules, okay. This is her journal. Your parents forgot you. She adds to the journal of the game. Also, B is in that store because she's running her dad's store because her mom died and then her dad just kind of didn't want to do anything after that, and so B is running the store. And she's really bitter about the fact that Mae went to college and quit because she wants she would do anything to go to college. I'm gonna skip this conversation too. It's not that great. All the way home. It's probably seemed kind of boring so far, but it's about to get real interesting. <coughs> Sorry. Such leaves. This works because I was scheduled to play this game today, technically. Like, I have a schedule. That's her aunt. But uh, I was actually going to finish another game, so now I'll get both. So it's fine. This is her aunt. She calls her aunt Mall Cop. Her name's Molly. She's a cop. Hey, May. What? I was just stopping by to see how you were doing. Why? After the other night, I mean. Why wouldn't I be fine? Oh, yeah! Also... The first day they walked out of the diner after eating pizza together as friends for the first time in forever and also um, doing a band practice, they walked outside and found an arm on the ground. That was the thing that happened too. Why wouldn't I be fine? May a lot of things that happen around here, sometimes in town, sometimes out, sometimes out by the tracks, sometimes up in the hills. What? It's my job to make sure folks like you never see like what you saw the other night. You're not doing a very good job of it. Folks like You're a kid, May, And you're naive. And in its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. And the world isn't out there somewhere. It's here. Alright, are you gonna arrest me or something? Because I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, May. I'd really hate to see something happen to you. And being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes. That's all I'm saying. That's ominous. Good night, May. Thought Aunt Molkoff is planning to kill me. <laughs> is it taco night? It's taco night. Yes, there's a pun here. Hey, sweetie. Look who's home. The dad doesn't have a set voice. I don't know what I'd do for him. Hey, the parents. I made tacos. Excuse me, we made tacos? Tacos. Tacos! Do you want tacos? I want tacos. Every day, all day. No, I'm gonna snack it up at the party later. 
Girl, I want tacos. The family that tacos together, rockos together. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. Oh my god! The bot that follows my channel all the time changed its name. It was Electrical Skateboard, and now it's Electrical Longboard, and I'm I'm a little triggered actually. Honey, no. What? I am so angry right now. You've all turned against me. May, honey, do you want sour cream on your taco? I want everything. <laughs> Are you still watching, Sam? Sam! Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. Uh, I should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. OMG, party time! Are you ready, B? I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay, good. You're still watching. Oh. Maybe I should get ready. Yeah, maybe. Hey, don't forget about the party tonight! I haven't. Then what are you doing on your laptop? Get ready already! Jeez, okay. <laughs> Smiley face. I'm not gonna play the game, but I'm gonna do the theme song, because I love it. My stream has to deal with this every time, and I feel it's fitting you also should have to. <laughs> The age of blood, a pale one will rise, wielding not but a simple blade. Who dares to climb the steps of Demon Tower? Yeah, I'm not actually gonna play it though. Well, I have to like go into it, go back out of it, like this, but yeah. Hey, okay, cat. Anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now that your eardrums have been bruised. <laughs> Back to the game. Looking alright. God, this shirt really accentuates my roundness, doesn't it? I have the worst face. I have a nightmare face. I think the round zero doesn't help. It's cool, dude. Round is okay. I need to stop eating literally everything I see. I'm being body positive like the internet said. I'm a real life person. And no one can prove I'm not. You can do this. People like you. People don't like you, clearly. You don't like people, clearly. Just because that online test said that your best chance at being happy is a situation where everybody already likes you, but they mostly leave you alone, except when they're delivering food to you, that doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. Same. That's how hermits are made, May, And they die alone in the middle of winter waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. Alright, what are you going to say? You're a smooth talker. You're a smoothie. Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Oh, hey, I'm May. What's your name? Hi, I'm May. I dropped out of college earlier this week. And now I'm in the woods. Drinking. Jeez, this is yet another road to hermitdom. This is hopeless. Wheel me onto the curb for garbage day. Oh, jeez, they'll be here any minute. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. I make my own luck. With a luck machine. I've actually got most of these lines memorized. The party. So, uh, 
the reason I don't have to wait for the text to go all the way across sometimes, or like wait for the next box, is because I already know what they're gonna say. Hey, May, I think Cole might be there tonight. What? Oh my god. Who's Cole? Um, you remember him? He was in your book with us. Oh, Cole. Yeah, I remember him. Me and him were a thing for a while. Really? Wow. He was really smart. I'm really smart. Yeah, you are, dude. Well, that's settled then. Ow. Partially sitting on the cord. I need a drink. May also needs a drink. But I need non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic one. <laughs> Ugh, that was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious drink at all. Can't confirm. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. What? Nothing. That's Jackie. Cool party. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Not you. Yikes. Oh god, it's... <laughs> Sit. Hey dudes! Yo, did you see Cole's here? Oh god. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? No. Yeah, sure. Yeah, man. You sure, man? Yeah, I mean, why should I be worried about it? Well, I mean, you did write that song afterwards. What was it called? Go Get Dead Angel Face? Ah, oh, we don't want to talk about Go Get Dead Angel Face. <laughs> Can you guys believe this dude playing guitar? Yep, played in the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is this a douchebag song? No, don't worry, big guy. There is a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out on the lawn trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? I <laughs> love that's his only concern. Anyway. What do I need to trigger this? Oh god, it's- maybe I need another drink. <sighs> I guess beer is just another one of those horrible things adults do. Like doing taxes and having babies. Yo. What? You're kinda grouchy, did you know that? No, I didn't. Rude? How long are you planning on staying? May, we just got here like 10 minutes ago. Oh. Are you... How many beers have you had? Two! My phone made a noise, I believe. Oh, it is... He sent me a message way back when, and I didn't even look. But now I shall. Assuming that it will work. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> My phone's having to spaz. <laughs> it's having a bad time. The box saying it isn't responding isn't even responding. I hope it wasn't important because I think I'm being forced to ignore it for now. Oh, nope, there it goes. Nope, still sucking. At phone, why you suck? 
My phone is worse than me. Excuse me, I'm going to work. Can you please work? Ah! Don't open a browser. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, the chat disappears for you if you, like, refresh the page or anything. Um, but I still see it, so it's cool. Okay. I know that was from, like, 20 minutes ago, but whatever. Hey, sit down, mate. You're tiny. I could've finished that conversation before I did that, but whatever. Hey. Hey? Is that you? Wow, how are you? Gotta do my cool guy voice. Well, this week- well, earlier this week I dropped out of school and now I'm drinking in the woods. Wow, okay. What the hell is your problem? What? Continue forward. Ah! How'd it go? Ah! Ugh. Problem? Sometimes I think I just don't like people. Yeah, man, F the world. Yeah, F it. God, someone really should just F the world already. The world has gone uneft for too long. F and right. Conversation. Did you guys hear something? Like what? Something in the woods over there? Oh yeah, two people are making out on the rock behind us. That can't be very comfortable. Who needs comfort when you have makeouts? Preferably you have both. Agreed. It ain't a perfect world, Angus. They really are going at it up there. They sure are. You guys wanna... I don't know. Stand somewhere else? Nah, dude. Why should we move? They're the indecent ones. We are gentlemen. I'm sorry to feel these two beers. Yeah, I don't really drink much. I only had one beer before. <laughs> yeah, and you spit it out. Man, if you don't drink, you should really be careful. Nah, man, I'm cool. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on you. We will watch you like hawks. Shepherd hawks. Thanks, dudes. Yep, they're still making out. Be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. Oh my god, how have I been streaming for 43 minutes? Screw it! I'm doing two beers! I'm doing beer! I still taste tacos! Okay? What? Nothing! I don't know if I should have a drink right now. Hey, B. Yeah? Oh god, you're drunk. Already. That's why we came out here, right? Not really. I have to drive. And even if I didn't. Well, I don't have my license! Same. So, what for me? Hey, B. What? Who is that? Remember May Borowski? Oh, God. May, you're drunk. You need to go chill by the fire. I'm gonna go around naked in the woods! Go sit now. <laughs> hey, Greg. Whoa, dude. You okay, May? You think the people making out on that rock met up there because there's a porn lock? Okay, let me explain this story. So, May's computer was messing up because, like, viruses from watching too much of that. And. Greg told her a story later that apparently he heard from someone else that back in the old days, before the internet, people would hide books of that in a log in the woods. And so people would go up there and like, what if you ran into someone at the log? And it's like, now you're best bros, log bros forever. So she's referencing that story. Oh my god, I bet there is. A what? See, it's a log where olden days people would put porn. How old are we talking? Like, Revolutionary War era? I think there's an old cemetery from then back there somewhere. 
These woods are full of old ghosts and porn logs and people making out. I'm trying to say that kind of quietly in case my family happens to be nearby. Not that they would at, you know, 2 a.m., but maybe they would be. Hey, Angie, my dad knows your dad. They used to work together back in the 80s. Okay. He used to hang at the bar with your daddy. <laughs> Dude, don't ever say daddy again. What? My dad had to stop drinking because he was a danger to me and my mom. Oh god, I'm sorry, Sam, the story is real. <laughs> Dude. Okay, May, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Ever. Okay, May, I'm a little worried about you. We failed at being chaperone hawks. Someday, Bug. Aw, I forgot you called him Bug. Well, I'm having a great time here in the woods, okay? Greg, don't you think maybe May you should go sit down? Yeah, dude, you should sit. Dude, sit down by the fire and chill, okay? Fine. And this is where Shake is real. Hey, May. Hey, Coolio. Wow, haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years! That's not long at all! Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple days from school and... Shut up already! What? The girl at the video store is all like, Woohoo, cute boys! And you're a cute boy, Cole. Oh, thanks, may I? But I hate cute people! Cute is the worst! Okay, well, I'm gonna go. It is not my fault! I'm a total trash fire! I got nightmare eyes! And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window, and then I stab you with my knife! Stab, stab, stab! This is like my favorite thing to do. Boom! Dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname! So don't F with me, kid! F the world! Okay, May, you're threatening people now. No, B, this is me being body positive. Read the internet! May, I think you need to F college! Yeah! All those rich kids and hot people, all writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough! <laughs> and that damn statue. Pointing at me every day, supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I. I am a total trash mammal! And nothing is ever gonna work out! We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again, and I can do something besides sleep and cry alone. No. Because things aren't just things here, you know? Oh god, I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Colio? Hey, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I think you're really great. Home again! Woo! I can't, I can't Greg voice right now. I have to transition. Greg's not that high. Woo! Ah. Tacos. <laughs> I love that one. It's like, I'm a total trash mammal! <laughs> if you puke in this car, I'm so healthy. I owe you an apology, B. I really am quite embarrassed. B, I'm so embarrassed. You got sloppy ass drunk after what, three cups of watered down beer? Remember when we used to be best friends? Like, this is what May wants to say, but then it comes out different. Remember? I remember when we hung out as kids. I remember when we hung out, we were like best friends, B. Remember you used to call me Mayday, and I called you BB? Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together, and we caught that turtle? Yeah, Foxy the turtle. He died. 
Why are you so mean to me? I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why? Why are you so mad at me all the time? Oh man, if I puke in here, your parents are gonna be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. God damn it, May. What? My mother is dead. What? She died of cancer senior year. Oh no, she was so nice. Phoebe, are you okay? How did you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mom? This was a terrible lapse of memory, V. I'm so sorry. I'm mortified by my behavior. I'm sorry. I don't like remember anything sometimes. Don't take it personally. What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to. Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. <laughs> We're here. Get the hell out of my car. <laughs> oh god, let me help you. Every time I do a fake cry for that, I feel like I sound like Ariana Grande. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. You know? Whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you! Two months! Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. Well, you went off and stayed the same. Snore. Good night, Mayday. So yeah, that's day three. That's the party scene. Oh, this is the first dream. This dream has like not a lot to do with the other dreams. It's just cool. This is Astral May, which is just Dream May. Yeah, I don't think this dream has much to do with the other dreams at all, just the colors are the same. Well, it has a little bit to do with it, but not a lot. Like, there's, like, one thing that relates. But the other dreams, like, are actual, like, story, kind of? But they don't- they aren't meant to make much sense. They're meant to be connected, but... Eh. But this one, she just gets to beat stuff. Because May likes beating stuff. They can get very violent. There should be an achievement for making the signs a killer. There isn't, but there should be. Because that's what people used to call her after a certain incident that doesn't get explained for a really long time. killer now. And you see the way the background is just squares and stuff? And nothing has like a really solid shape to it? Like it, it doesn't have any detail to it? That's a big part of this game. And since... Well, yeah, I've done another run of this, so... Since you probably won't ever see the end of this game, because I doubt you'll watch my channel and see it, um, basically, a part of May's, like, disorder that she has going, that no one really recognizes, and she didn't recognize for a long time, is uh, that she just sees everything as shapes. And that's like a big part of her, is that... So that's like the art style is meant to reflect that, is that she sees things as shapes. Just shapes. 
Like one day it just kind of broke for her and she realized she wasn't connected to anything and it was all just shapes and that messed her up. So especially in the dreams it's very apparent. There's actually some like cool background to the story and I really love to talk about it so yes I'm a nerd. This is what we talk about art all the time. I have to do the other leg first, I guess. Oh, 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 I missed it. A light. And that's why, like, Maeve put a kid in the hospital, is because she was trying to cope with that, and she... She couldn't see him as a real person. Like, she, at the time, like, nothing seemed real to her. So she just beat him. During a softball game. Just to feel something. And then after that, she went to college, and that became too much for- Like, she learned to control it. In town. With her family and people that she knew, but when she got to college with places she didn't knew, didn't didn't know and people she didn't know she just kind of she couldn't take it and that's why she came back because i don't figure you're gonna finish this like watching this game so i'll just tell you so for any viewers later on that ever watched this and they're like damn you just spoiled it for me sorry should have watched the b run first well that was a weird one i feel awful i probably look awful Ugh. I'm gonna burn this room down with me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Uh, check my phone real quick. Hey, it's 69 degrees outside. Hey, sorry about last night. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm at the pickaxe all day, if you want to stop by. Hey dude, you okay? Last night was pretty intense. B said you're okay. I'm a snack falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. P.S. Band Jam later, OMG. The end. <laughs> We're not playing this. <laughs> not right now. I don't feel like playing Demon Tower, I'll, I'll cry. Ow, there's a spot on my nose that hurts. Could play some bass, but which song? Space Dragon. Die anywhere else. Go get dead, Angel Face. Whoa, no. No. No way I'm gonna play that one. Too embarrassing. No, we're actually gonna play, uh, Space Dragon. Wanderer in space! No matter forbidden place. I don't know how the song actually goes. It doesn't ever say. This is actually a thing. I'm really bad at this. How did I miss that? Yeah, I'm really bad at this. I did too many that time.
It slowed down and I was not prepared. Oh. not know the song. Anyway. Um, I don't remember what happens in day four, but I guess we'll find out. Afternoon, us. I'll play day four and then I'll quit. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. Wonder how old this thing is. I usually only play two days and then stop because the days can be pretty long for me actually exploring things. Sup, bird? This bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad, hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton. Uh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is this like... What is this? Thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people. Thought, come back to life, granddad. Oh. Hello, B. Did you get my text? <laughs> I love reading that like that. That was the arm. Gregory's pizza scale. Fancy, too fancy. Good as hell. Avoid. So yeah, the journal. This is the one with the eels line. May, yeah, come say hi. I totally walk out without saying hi, but I'm not a bad person like. Hey hun, you look like crap. Yep, rough night. No, I'm just tired. Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it, it's saw Cole at a party in the woods from senior year. He was home from school for the weekend. Did you? I don't really remember. Kind of, sort of. I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hun. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of Towny Century. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great! Hon, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. No one is going to jail for running around on the power lines. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there, there's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her out front yesterday? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely heard, never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. So what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and B are up to. Y'all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much, past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. We each only have so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Another way, <laughs> another way that uh, May's mom reminds me of your mom, Sam, is uh, she's religious, and May is not religious. <laughs> of 
but you know, she kind of still tries. Sammy, you still watching? What you reading? Book about a guy who grew up secretly living on a fishing ship, living in a barrel, eating raw fish, crabs, octopus, squid, lobster, gulls, albatross. I get it. Wow. Sharks, dolphins, sea cucumbers, seaweed, sand, rocks, kelp, but that's the same as seaweed, I think. I get the picture. Wow. Ropes, sails, one of the boats, the rigging, sailor shoes, sailor hats, sailor pants, sailor shirts, sailor underwear, clean. I get the idea. Wow. Fishing line, fishing nets, fishing poles. Jeez, he was well fed. Several dugongs and a manatee, which are different, you know. I did know that. And that's a list of everything he ate. How do you eat fishing line? The crew thought the boat was haunted, but nope, just the barrel boy. What's the book called? Barrel boy. Oddly enough, I now want fish sticks. I know, right? I'll have your father bring some home. Have a nice day, sweetie. Ah, I want the eels dialogue. Are you alive? How is my phone on one percent? It's plugged into a charger, I don't understand. Yay. It charge. This time I need the power lines. I'm pretty sure. Hey May. Hey Selmers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one too. Oh okay, did you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So, Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah! My heart is a dankness, but when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a you -ness. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. I hope so. There's no <laughs> Ta-da! It's Silver's a poet. I'll actually go down off the power lines in a bit, but I have some exploration of the stars to do. If you left me, I'm gonna feel really sad. I'm gonna tell Liz to yell at you when she watches this. Because I was sad. May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting Dusk Stars. What's a Dusk Stars? Dust Stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Really? No. It's his music of looking at. with a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Yeah! Excellent! Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez! The sun is bright, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. Hagrid. This music is really cute. I will rant about the music in this game for days, but I'll spare you that. I do that a lot, so. I actually did art inspired by the stars in this game, and I need to put it on my wall. Found one! Let me have a look. 
Ah, yes. Dor the murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Dor passed Baird and the king's procession on the street. Dor was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Jeez. Royalty is strange. So, what happened? Baron insulted Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on, until he was down to insulting Dor's chickens. Damn. Chickens are kind of awful. Dor first murdered Baron's chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Baron, the king was silent. I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dor a hero? Totally. I don't know. Like, if you've been told that you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story, and real people died, and you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mr. C. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Ah, oh, yes, Castus. What's Castus? Totally, it is. You know this one already? Nope. This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven, and for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight! Oh, will you never die as well? I guess, someday. I don't know. NEVER! <laughs> Defy Cassus's god also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for the things we cannot control. You might say floods or the cancer or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh really? They come and go so fast. That was pretty great! We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Probably not. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> I like his laugh. Endure. Yeah, I did some of the in a piece once. But... If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal act. Who? Here on the roof next door. It's from that roof throw away. You're gonna have to pick which you're gonna sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is awful familiar of you. Today is a cool scene with Greg, but I'm not sure. It's the first day I can talk to my favorite girl, Lori. She's super anxious and cute, and I love her. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs is open for business. Wonder what's going on up there. supposed to be weather stations? Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. It does come in at a later scene if you actually do that scene, but you know, it depends on who you go with. Hey! Hey, it's you! It's me. I'm gonna sit. Legs are killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. 20 years. You're like all the way old. How old are you? 15 in February. I used to hang out here after school. Really? Most kids don't come all the way up here. <laughs> That's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Where do you live? Chestnut Street. Oh, okay, out by the tracks. Yeah, guess I'm not really town. I'm like, tracks. 
live down on Maple. Ooh, the rich neighborhood. What? What? Um, no. Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. <laughs> Never mind, it's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Calm down. I'm sorry. I get all weird sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'll forgive you if you stop apologizing. <laughs> okay. I feel you, Anxiety Mouse. That's why she's my favorite, because she's Anxiety Mouse, and I understand her so much. Tracks are cool. Haven't been out there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with <laughs> bits of ceiling on you. Good point. Alright, I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Cool. See you later. See ya, killer. Ugh. The kitty up there. Oh yes. Mellard's too. Sam, did you die? Oof. Why did you yawn? I'm going to assume that you died. Goodbye. I'm still gonna play this day anyway, though. Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Blue Mingro snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring, but we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Door. It's locked, what the hell? That is a fire hazard. No, seriously, this- is this thing clearly marked as something- No, seriously, is this thing as clearly marked as something as it is not? I'm coming back for you, exit door, and we're gonna have a little chat. With my boots. Worst exit, easily. Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. P. Blue Mingro, one of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the Spring Parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear dead Mallard, you were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the Spring Parade to see you. You were like a big, beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard, probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten! But I found you. And I know you're here. It's still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit! Mallard, you're pregnant! It's one of those god things! Like when you have a baby because god? Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin! Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food! Don't die! And this is where the delicious pretzels thing comes in. Miracle rats! Da -da -da -da. Wrong... There we go. Keep pressing Y instead of X for some reason. Don't know why I keep doing that. Grab 
them pretzels. Them Chris pretzels. <laughs> Many miners, old and young, with home and heart and coal and lung, were taken by the trolley men up to the mine and back again. But mudslide, flood, and awful storm have given tunnel fishes. Warm? Warm? Please stop listening. Honey, I'm Horm. I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. I bet some rad babies would love a delicious pretzel. Okay, 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 mate. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. Simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Got it. I am the bandit queen. Obviously, you can tell I have a system. Oh, hello. Hey, it's May. I remember. Old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What do you want to tell me about Granddad? Well, it'll only say if you really want to know. <laughs> yes, I do want to know. Is it scandalous? Oh, I don't think so. I'm old enough that nothing feels scandalous anyway. Is that a thing that happens when you get old? <laughs> Depends on the life you led. Okay, anyway. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. On your daddy's side in particular. Oh. Go back far enough you got folks that were around for the real hard times. When the workers went up against the armies. Oh yeah, I kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever. Might have gotten the number of grades wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. Now we were around to watch the tide roll out. And... We'll need to talk again another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. Nah, I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay, see ya. Might as well explore the rest of down here while I'm down here. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Because this miracle, this mural is of historical note, Molly. What do we know? Well, sometime overnight, someone used bolt cutters on the gate and came down here. What they use, a paint roller? Looks to be. Says they intend to nuke Poss something? I think it's likely some kid saw one of the old Nuke Possum Springs tags from back when and got bored halfway through writing it. We need to treat this as a terrorist action. I'm sorry. This mural is of historical note. Alright, well, I'll round up any, uh, terrorists I see. Round up any dirtbag teens or vagrants that have been hanging around town. Check out by the abandoned food donkey. They come off the train there. Already on it. Molly. Yeah. Find whoever did this. Okay. I want to see them hang. I think at most they'd get a fine and some jail time. This was of historical note. Without this, I don't know if there's a reason to keep this place open. Yeah, Kathleen, we all know what you think. What, you think I wanted this? It's not like any of you had any ideas for this place. Kathleen, we are not going to put a rest home down here. It's just wasted space. And they're down here anyway at Trolley Side News every day. We are not putting our elderly in a hole. Yeah, Colleen. At least if we close it, I wouldn't have to keep an eye on this place. 
Thank you, Molly. That's helpful. If you're all done, I got things to do. Your ass is in a historical note. Yeah, fine. This was a historical note. This sure is a picture. Oh, you mean I could have talked to him? <gasps> Holy shit! The dudes! Someone hacked up the dudes! Who did this? Why did they do it? Thought Duke Possum Springs. Gotta go feed the rats. Thing is, I try to wake up by noon, no matter what time I go to sleep, and I'm not gonna get to sleep until like 3. I may stop to stay halfway through. I'm pretty sure Sam died, and uh. Feed the rats and stop this one. <gasps> Cause I'm, I'm I'm tired and yeah. Oh man, my bed's gonna smell like nail polish. Part of my most embarrassing moment is that I spilled nail polish on my bed. That's not really embarrassing. I mean, like, I guess, if you're like, ew, clumsy, but like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done that. Alright, my little miracle rats, time to eat. Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now? I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Okay. I'm gonna head out of Mallard's tomb here and then uh, I'm gonna go to bed. It's 2.44 a.m. and I am one minute shy of 90 minutes, which is about the length I would usually stream anyway. Actually, that's kind of like the goal. The goal is actually two hours now, but whatever. It was fun. Nice late stream. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna let it wait until 90 minutes and then quit it. Did it quit by itself? <laughs> 